when they're confined. I mean, I've sat in my car with the car off when I've pulled in somewhere and shut it off thinking I'm getting out of the car at that moment and I'm five minutes later on the phone and I'm dying of heat. But I can open the door and get out. Two years ago, a dog was left in a car for about an hour while the owner was inside a local Woodbridge business. It was a very hot day and the dog did not survive. We want to avoid these tragedies. So we're here just to let people know and inform them and just give as much awareness as possible about what that means and why it's so important to just err on the side of caution and not do that. That's why we're calling on businesses and residents to help by calling animal control when they see something. The town of Woodbridge operates a district animal shelter that serves Bethany and Derby as well as Woodbridge. All three towns will be encouraging businesses to put these heat kill awareness signs in business windows. <laughs> We are asking the business community to spread the word to remind drivers that they shouldn't leave either children or animals unattended in vehicles. Thank you to our animal control officers, Karen Lombardi and Paul Needman, and all of the shelter staff for all you do on behalf of the animals. Karen and Paul will be asking retail businesses to place a sticker in their windows to help remind uh, folks about this important educa educational campaign. I'm extraordinarily excited to see another town pick this up and really the goal would be to see every town, all 169, pick this up in, in the entire state of Connecticut. Um, uh, when the child passed away in the car in Ridgefield, it, it just spurred something in me. It, it was an issue about animals, but also children. And I went and sat down with my chief, Gary McNamara, in Fairfield after that incident in Ridgefield. And I said to him, what can we do to make a difference to protect children and animals? Because most of you see this every day. People email and call me as a state representative and say, I just left Stop and Shop and I saw a dog in the car. I got into an argument with the owner. The person had the dog in the car for a half an hour. It's important for residents to know that they should not confront anyone if they suspect that there has been a child or an animal left in the car. Instead, they should call animal control and they will respond. And as you know, the Woodbridge Animal Shelter, um, the cities of Derby and the towns of Bethany are involved in that animal shelter. And today we have with us uh, Representative Zupkis, who represents Bethany. And we're also being joined by the town of Seymour with the animal control officer, Deb Ice, and my sister, Deputy First Selectman, Nicole Claritis Dietria. And I have to give her credit because we have always been animal people, but she's really taken the initiative in the past few years, gotten very involved in her animal shelter because she understands how important it is to find these these lovely little creatures homes and and to treat them in the way that they need to be treated. We have Police Chief Jerry Narowski from Derby representing the city of Derby. Okay, we have Mr. Needman from the Animal Control. We have Officer Kubik from Woodbridge. Hey, Pat Rubin, Bethany. Laura Torrance from Woodbridge. Laura Torrance from Woodbridge. Town Our famous town clerk <laughs> is Charlie Leo. Oh, Karen Lombardi, of course, our Animal Control Officer in Woodbridge. We make this better is by doing it together and that's why we're hoping that by bringing this program to businesses where we all go day in and day out whether it's restaurants or places that we frequent so often that we will be able to get to so many more people than just reading a newspaper or looking online and any avenue we can use to educate people in regards to this we will take advantage of.